Last time we used LoRa node to node communication and we got around 2 kilometers of range in my city. In that video, you all people suggested me to try out LoRa when for getting better range as well as for better communication. And probably your voice was heard by one of the company and they sent me this. So this is the LoRa IoT kit which was sent to me by the company called Anthotech. So in this kit we get way more than just LoRa gateway. And let's unbox it and see what we are getting. So by opening the box the first thing that we see is this chart where all the components are mentioned. Let's just keep it aside and see the actual components. So first of all we are getting this LoRa gateway from Dragino. So this is the LG 01N single channel LoRa gateway and the cool thing is that it can connect with both LAN cable as well as with Wi-Fi. After that we are getting this LoRa shield attached with an Arduino Uno board. So this will be used for sending sensors data via LoRa. The next thing we are getting is another LoRa shield but this time with the GPS module built in and again attached with the Arduino Uno board. So this is an amazing board for making the wireless tracker with LoRa. I'm really excited to make that. After that, we are getting this 12 volt 1 ampere power adapter to power up the gateway and we are getting three antennas for all the three devices. We do have something more below this foam sheet. Let's just empty this box. So inside it, we are getting jumper wires, two Arduino cables, then we have a couple of sensor which includes ultrasonic sensor, a buzzer module, a DHT11 sensor module, a flame sensor module, a relay module, a LDR module and in the end we are getting couple of LEDs. So we are getting so many things to play with this LoRa technology in the single kit. Now if this seems interesting and useful to you, you can definitely purchase this kit from Anthotech at a very reasonable price. I will leave its purchase link in the description but hey before that. Let's just start playing with this gateways and LoRa models and let's just see what we can do with this. Now let's just jump onto the computer and first let's configure our LoRa gateway. So first of all I connected one of the antenna to the gateway and powered up the board with the adapter. After powering it up we need to connect our computer to the access point created by this gateway. If you are not comfortable with Wi-Fi you can even connect the ethernet cable from your computer to the LAN port of this gateway. After connecting, just open up the web browser and request the IP address 10.130.1.1 which will open the gateway configuration page. Here you can log in with the default credentials which is Dragino. So first of all we need to provide credentials of our router to the gateway so that it can get the internet access. For that click on networks and go to wireless. Here click on the scan button which will scan nearby Wi-Fi routers. After that just join your preferable Wi-Fi network, provide the password of your router here and after that just give a random name to this new network. That's it. Now click on the submit button. After that here you need to click on the save and apply button to finalize the changes. As you can see the Wi-Fi router that we have configured appears on the dashboard. But there is one problem. We are not getting any signal strength here. That means the gateway is not actually connected with it. So now to make our gateway connect to the router, first we need to disable the access point created by the gateway itself. After disabling it, we can be sure that our gateway is now connected with the Wi-Fi router in case we have provided the right credentials. And if you think you have provided the wrong credentials, what you need to do is you need to connect your gateway uh, with your computer via LAN cable and again open that same uh, gateway configuration page and you can change the credentials afterwards. Uh, we need to connect it with the LAN cable because as we disabled the access point created by the gateway so we no longer will be able to access the gateway via its own uh, you know, access point. Okay, For that reason we need to have the LAN cable in that condition. So in my case as I already provided the correct credentials the gateway is connected to the router and it even got its own local IP address. So now I will connect my laptop with the same Wi-Fi router whose credentials we have provided to the gateway and in the browser I will open the local IP address of the gateway at port 8000. So now as you can see I got the same gateway configuration page and now in the network section I can see the signal strength of the router as well. So yeah, we did the first step. 
Now the second step is to change our LoRaWAN server settings. For that, click on service and go to LoRaWAN gateway. Here you have to keep the parameters same. Well, you can change the gateway ID for different LoRaWAN gateways, but make sure it is an 8 byte hex value only. After that, just click on the save and apply button. So that was all we need to do on the gateway side. So now we'll be jumping onto another platform where we'll be receiving the data sent by our LoRa modules and that platform is called the Things Network. So just go to the thingsnetwork.org and click on the sign up button to make an account here. After making the account, just log into that account. After that, go to console. Now here we have two options. Let's first add our gateway. For that, click on gateway. So now here we need to provide the gateway ID which we can get from our gateway configuration page. Just copy this and paste it here. After that, just check mark this box. Now below that, you need to add the description of your gateway. I will write as TechSMS LoRa Gateway. I will select the frequency plan as India. Select this router and placement as indoor. That's it. Now click on register gateway. So now here as you can see, I successfully created a new gateway and I even got the status as connected. That means our LoRa Gateway got successfully connected with the Things Network. So now we need to add a new application to the Things Network. You can consider an application to be a new project that we will be creating on that server. For that, click on applications and click here to create a new one. Now give this a name as per your choice. After that, provide the description to this application and then click on add application. Now make sure you write some unique names for the application. Now we need to add our LoRa device here and for that, click on register device. Here you just need to provide a name to this device. The rest of all the parameters will be automatically generated. Click on register button after that. So we successfully registered a new device here. But one thing to notice here is that the activation method is set to OTAA by default. But this activation method is not supported by the gateway that I am using. So we need to change this activation method to ABP and for that Go to settings and select the activation method as ABP. After that, click on the save button. Great. Now we just need to provide these all credentials to our LoRa node from which we will be sending the data. So now let's jump on to Arduino ID and see how to program our LoRa nodes for sending the data to the gateway. So for the code, you first need to have this library installed on your Arduino ID whose link I will mention in the description. After installing this library, just open the example called TTNABP. So now here in the code, we need to provide a couple of credentials according to the device that we have created on TTN, which stands for the Things Network. So first, let's provide the device address, which we can get it from the device which we have just created on TTN. Just click here to copy and paste that address here. After that, we need to provide these two keys. So you will get the network session key of your account from here. Just click on this I icon and after that click here. Make sure it starts with MSB and after confirming just click here to copy the key and paste that key here in the code. Similarly for app session key click here. Make sure it also starts with MSB and then click here to copy and paste that key here in the code. Great. So this was all about the credentials. After that, we need to change the pin mapping according to our Bragino shield. So just note the pin numbers that I'm writing here. Now with the help of this code, our LoRa module will be sending the data called hello world to the gateway. Let's change the data to hello from TechSMS. So this data will be sent to the gateway at an interval of 60 seconds. Let's just change it to 10 seconds for testing purpose. That's it. Now just upload this code onto your Arduino Uno board. After uploading the code, when I tested this for very first time, I found that the data was not received to the gateway. And moreover, the status also says never seen. That means the gateway is not communicating with the LoRa modules. 
So when I talked with the team regarding this issue then, they suggested me to set and match the frequency of both LoRa node and the LoRa gateway to 865.4 MHz. So now to change the frequency of the gateway, you first need to go to the gateway dashboard. Under the LoRaWAN server settings, you need to change the frequency to this. After that, just click on save and apply button. So with this, the frequency of the gateway is changed successfully. Now to change the frequency of the LoRa node, we need to modify the source code file of the library. For that, go to your documents folder, into Arduino, into libraries, into Arduino LMIC master folder, into source folder, and then into LMIC folder. Here open up this LoRa base header file in a text editor. Inside this file, you need to assign that same frequency to all these variables. Now after changing the frequency, just save this file and after that upload that same code to your Arduino board again. So now when I open the TTN console, I was successfully able to receive the data every 10 seconds. And even the status was getting updated quite often. But again, one question arises that from the LoRa node, we were sending the data called hello from techie SMS, but on the console, we are not able to see that actual data. The reason is that on the console, we are able to see the hex format of the data. So now the last step remaining is to convert this hex formatted data to the actual string that we are sending. And to change that, click here and go to payload formats. So here in this block, you need to paste this much line of code. After that, click on save payload function. That's it. So now let's go to the data block again and, and observe what we are getting. So yeah, with the new data, now we can see that actual string that we were sending via our LoRa node. So now everything seems working pretty fine, pretty smooth. So here along with the actual payload, we are also getting a lot of other information regarding the node as well. So we are getting the data of frequency, the spreading factor, and we are also getting the value of RSSI, which will be definitely useful for testing the range of this module. Okay, so we are able to transfer the data from this LoRa module, the LoRa node to the LoRa gateway. And furthermore, the LoRa gateway is sending the data to internet to the Things network website with the help of the router. Okay, so yeah, the things are working. The data from the LoRa communication is sent directly to the internet. Okay, so now the one thing which is left is to test the range. Okay, definitely you and I, like we all are expecting a high range with the help of this LoRa gateway, but still, uh, let us test it in real life real condition in the city and uh, let's see how much range we are getting but before that if you are enjoying this video if you uh, are excited to know the range do click the thumbs up button right now and uh, let's just take this LoRa gateway and install it at some height and after that we'll be taking this uh, LoRa node on a long drive and we'll be checking out what's the range we are getting let's go so after successfully making this project what I did is I just powered up the gateway with the help of the battery and powered up the LoRa model with the help of power bank. And in this situation, when I tested this project, I was able to get the data on the Things Network dashboard. So now it's the time to take this project out in some open space and let's test the range of the LoRa gateway. So first I took this LoRa gateway on the terrace of a 15 story building. I installed the gateway there, but there was a big problem at such a great height. At that height, my router was not getting the connectivity. It was not able to connect to the network provider. So we changed the plan and moved to another building which was having only 5 floors. Okay, So we went on the terrace of that building, installed the gateway again. And at this time, we were able to get the internet connectivity as well. So we tested the project on the terrace and I was able to receive the data on the Things Network dashboard. So now it's the time to take this LoRa module on a long ride. So we just noted the kilometers on the scooter. After that we went off on a long drive. After a kilometer we tested this project and we were able to get the data. But I was able to receive the data only for one and a half kilometer. We tried changing the spreading factor value to 10 and also tried increasing the power to 20 dBm. But we were getting the same result with these configurations as well. Oh.
सो इट्स ऑलरेडी एट फिफ्टीन पी एम इन माई क्लॉथ सो इट्स सैटरडे नाइट एंड आई जस्ट केम टू माई स्टोरी आफ्टर टेस्टिंग द रेंज ऑफ दिस लोरा मॉडल लोरा गेट वे ओके सो द रेंज विच आई गॉड यूजिंग द एल जी जीरो वन लोरा गेट वे एंड द लोरा मॉडल विच आई वॉज हैविंग अलॉन्ग विद दिस गेट is around one and a half kilometer okay i tried it with sf7 sf10 i got the same range of one and a half kilometers so now the question is like what's the point of having a gateway uh, as i already discussed at the starting of the video that with the lora node to node communication i got the range of around 2 kilometers okay and with this lora gateway i getting the i'm getting the range of 1 kilo 1 and a half kilometer okay so let me just share you the difference between both of them and why to choose or when to choose the lora gateway okay first of all lora gateway uh can support multiple nodes you can have multiple uh, lora nodes that can communicate with the gateway and using the gateway you can upload the data directly to the server on the internet okay and you can see that data from anywhere in the world okay so that's the benefit of the lora gateway you can uh, you know also uh, uh, you know use this lora gateway with other platforms like ubi dots or maybe i have to if i'm not wrong okay so you can do multiple things with the help of lora gateway that you can't do with the help of lora node to node communication okay now another question maybe arises that other people are getting way more range using lora gateway like 100 kilometers 10 kilometers 20 yes of course but the kit which i am having with me the lora gateway which i am having with me is lg01n okay so that is kind of a basic entry level gateway which is made for basically getting started with the lora model okay uh, the one who want to understand this lora technology one who wants to start working with the lora technology they can definitely use this kit and play with several different components provided in the kit itself okay so this is an entry level uh, lora gateway but there are several different kind of lora gateway uh, multi channel lora gateway and outdoor lora gateways using which you can get like tremendous or a massive range okay in range in like 10 to 20s or 100 kilometers okay so these those different kind of gateways are also available in that same uh, website the anto tech so you can definitely check out other lora models or uh, other lora gateway if you want like more range okay but uh, if you are a noob if you want to just get started with the lora technology and just want to uh, start playing with this lora modules you can definitely try out this kit and uh, you can just follow the step which i have shown in this video okay and yes i already mentioned the link of that particular kit in the description of this video so you can definitely check out uh, that uh, kit and if you want to get started with it if you want to like play with the lora you can definitely purchase that kit okay so yeah that's it about this video do click the like button if you really liked our effort that we put behind to make this particular video okay there are a lot of efforts like put behind this particular video so do click that like button okay and yeah i'll definitely try other lora models which came with this kit and we'll try to make couple of projects using this particular uh, kit okay so that in case you purchase that kit you should have a couple of content to get started with this kit okay so yeah do subscribe this channel if you want to see more such videos on like lora van gateway technology okay so yeah that's it about this video subscribe the channel if you haven't already and now just wait for my next video and explore learn share with me tagi sms